that the first thing that I'm going to do to get started on our Eaton Mess is make our strawberry mixture and just into a bowl I'm going to be adding in some beautiful strawberries and what I've done is I've just taken the tops off and I'm just going to add them in the bowl. Next up I'm just going to be squeezing over some fresh lemon juice just over those strawberries and then I'm just going to dust over a small amount of icing sugar or confectionery sugar. And then using a fork all I want you to do is just push down on the strawberries. Now you don't want to mush them completely, we just want to let those juices out. So this is what we're after. You want some chunky bits in there but we also want that beautiful strawberry syrup that's combined and thickened up slightly with that icing sugar. So just put this to the one side for the moment and we're going to get started on our vanilla cream. So for our vanilla cream, real simple, into a bowl. I've got some whipping cream here or some just some fresh cream and I'm just going to add that in. I'm again going to be adding in some icing sugar or confectionery sugar, just a small amount to the mix just to sweeten that cream up and I'm going to be putting in some vanilla bean paste. Now you've seen me use this a few times before, this is the one with the actual seeds in the paste. Now it's a little bit expensive, you do, if you don't want to use it uh, just use vanilla essence or vanilla extract will be fine. Now to whip the cream you can get the electric beaters out and go for it but I'm going to do it by hand just the way they used to so it's going to take a little bit longer but you're going to have big big muscles let me tell you. So just get stuck in and just give it a good whisk until it's nice and thick. And that's what we're after with our vanilla cream, just like that. And I'll tell you what, who needs a gym when you've got a kitchen? So what I've done now guys is just put a sifter over a large bowl and I'm going to be pouring in that strawberry mixture that we made before. And just using a fork, just lightly press down on those strawberries. And when I lift this off you'll see what we're left with here, it's this beautiful strawberry syrup, look at that. So back over to our cream and I'm going to be adding in that strawberry pulp. Now of course I'm going to be adding in some meringues. Now I've made meringues before and I will pop a link to that video recipe in the description but these days time, people are a bit time poor so it's just as good to go out to the supermarket and buy some, there's nothing wrong with it. And all I'm going to do is just crush them up in my hand and just add them in the bowl. Don't crush them up too finely, we definitely want some chunks in there. Okay, we want to give this a good mix around and I just love the red and the white, it just looks amazing. So let's assemble them. First up just into a glass and I'm using a martini glass but you could use any serving uh, dish like an ice cream sundae. Uh, glass or anything that you want really, you could even just serve this in a bowl. But I'm just going to add in our strawberry mixture first just onto the bottom. Spoon over our cream mixture straight in. And just over the top just drizzle just a little bit more of that strawberry mixture just over the top like that. And I'm just going to be finishing them just on the top with some beautiful fresh mint. Now not a lot of people know this but I'm actually half British. My dad was born in England and uh, I have had this dish many many times and I love it, it must be my English heritage side coming out. So oh, let's just uh, take a big spoonful of this shall we? If you don't give this a go in your lifetime, you have not lived my friend, you have not lived. May God bless the Queen and may God bless this mess. 
All the ingredients are below for this recipe. Give this one a try, it is absolutely wonderful. You guys take care and I'll see you tomorrow for another budget meals recipe. So until then, you take care.